Hello, I'm Forrest Mahan, president of Aiken Technical College, and I welcome you to the latest edition of the Mahan Conversation. My special guest today is our Dean of the School of Nursing, Dr. Hannah Williams. Dr. Williams, welcome. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself and what brought you here to Aiken Tech. Okay, wow. Well, I'm a native of Aiken. I've been here all my life. I've attended, um, I graduated from high school here and so forth. So I knew that I wanted to go into nursing education because I've been a nurse for over 20 years. Um, but once I finished my master's degree, I applied to Aiken Tech. That was the one and only school that I applied to. And I'm so grateful to have this job because when I was working at the hospital, I realized that in order to make a change, you had to place yourself in a position to do so. So then I decided to further my education, gain that master's degree, and I applied to Aiken Tech and the rest is history. I've been here now for over 15 years. Wow, that's incredible. Now, I like the fact that you pointed out that you're from Aiken because what we always like to say about the technical college system, in particular for Aiken Tech, is that we want to make sure that we're sort of growing our own talent. We've got local people who are here for the local jobs. Now, if a student is interested in coming to Aiken Tech and getting into the School of Nursing, what are their options? What are their career pathways they may pick from? Yes, well, we have several paths that you can take. The first path is we have a PCT program. Our PCT program, that is patient care technician, but we often say PCT. Within that program, it's an entry level where you can gain several certifications. The first certification is that of a CNA, or Certified Nursing Assistant. Um, and those, you see them a lot in the hospitals on the floor. They're helping um, with movement of patient, feeding, bathing, you know, several things. Um, but all of those things are more or less introduction into what you would do in your first semester of nursing school. But within that program, we also have a phlebotomy technician as well as EKG technician. And EKG is very um, important when it comes to nursing because we take care of a lot of patients with cardiac or heart problems. So within that program, of course, that takes one year and you can come and gain those certifications. Then we will work with you to get the required prerequisites that you need, help you increase that GPA, and then you have the option of either entering into our LPN, which is Licensed Practical Nursing Program. That is a one-year degree where you walk around, you walk away with a diploma in nursing. Or you could take the route for our um, ADN program. For an ADN program, you will graduate with an associate degree in nursing, and you can sit for your RN NCLEX meaning you will be a registered nurse. And then we have the one that can transfer you from being an LPN to an RN. So that's our LPN to RN transition program. And for that, we're so proud to say we have two, which one that you can go during the day, and then there's a second one that will allow you to attend classes at night so that you can work and, you know, have that career, make the money, support your family during the day, and then come back to school in the evening so you can pursue your education and go from a diploma prepared nurse to an associate degree prepared nurse. So from an LPN to an RN. So there's a lot of different pathways to get to a career in nursing. Also, as we emphasize, we like that idea of the stackable credential. You can start out with the PCT, move up to the LPN, and then move into the RN. And then even from here, they can move on to the BSN, as the MSN, and up the line. So um, in that instance, we know that nursing is a high demand field, but it's also a really well paying field. What does the job market look like for nursing now, and what do you think it will look like in the future? Wow. Well, right now it is very lucrative. Um, in terms of nursing, you know with COVID-19, we had to, unfortunately, we did experience a nursing shortage. But we kind of knew that this nursing shortage was coming before COVID, but COVID just potentiated. It made it even bigger. Um, but one of the things that they did notice um, with COVID is the value of a nurse. <laughs> so what that did is it did drive up um, the minimum you know, pay or the wages for nurses. So um, right now, the pay, whether you are an, an ADN or diploma prepared nurse, as well as our PCT CNA, that there was an increase in that pay rate. So these, all of these positions do very, very well. And there is no shortage of jobs <laughs> in this area or any area. <laughs> so it is very lucrative. Um, if you gain these uh, certificates or degrees, you will always have a job. I cannot imagine you going anywhere in the United States and being unable to find a job. And notice I said anywhere in the United States because 
with a, when, once you become a nurse, whether it is an ADN or an LPN, you gain that license. You can take that license, some, um, we call a compact license, which covers multiple states within the United States. So say South Carolina, Georgia, or South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, or so forth. We're all in a compact license. So because I have a license here in South Carolina, I can go to various other states and gain a license. But if I do, say if one of those states are outside of that compact, um, I can't think right offhand of a state, and I don't want to say anything be wrong, but say if it's not, I will say one, California. California is not part of a compact license or Washington State, but it's very easy because I've passed NCLEX. All I have to do is fill out the paperwork and pay that money, and I can get it. And then you're ready to go. Right, they're I'm probably not going to turn you down because no, <laughs> of the demands for nurses. And as you mentioned, you know, we knew before COVID that we were going to see this trend towards the boomers leaving the workforce, and then COVID happened and sort of expedited that. There's been a lot of movement, but luckily it seems, and I sit on the hospital board here and at ARMC, and it seems to have stabilized a bit, and we built a good, strong partnership with them, of course, for them and for all the other healthcare fields and site areas our nurses can find employment. So if someone is interested in applying to the program, what advice might you have? Yes. My advice to you would be first apply to Aiken Technical College. All you have to do is go to www.atc.edu, click that apply button. It's free, absolutely free. You don't have to pay a price. So that's the easiest thing you could do from there. And once you do that, you will, the college will reach out to you and you will be assigned an advisor. And then once that advisor, um, you're in touch with that advisor, then that's when the work comes in. So, and this is where my advice really starts is when you, they're gonna um, align you with the correct prerequisites that you have to take, such as English, one-on-one, -on -one, probability and statistics, anatomy and physiology, one and two, microbiology, intro to psychology, and so forth, the developmental psych. So my piece of advice, the strongest piece I can give you, is don't take those classes for granted. You wanna do your absolute best. If this is your goal of becoming a nurse, you want to be, you want to make A's and B's if you can't help it. You know, C's make degrees also. So I'm not saying you cannot do it if you make C's. But we are, the reason why I'm saying this is we are a competitive program. Mm -hmm. Meaning just because you apply does not mean you, you will be accepted into the program. So we go by what we call a point system. And you can easily find that out by going to our website. Go to the nursing website here at AK Technical College and you will look, go over that application. So that's another piece of advice look at that application, know what you're getting into. Um, that way you can prepare. I can't prepare for things I don't know, right? So you want to make sure you look at that application, know all of the ins and outs, know what class you have to take, know what those grades are, know what the points are, know how you will get accepted into that program. And then from there, if I know that I will get seven points for making an A and five points for making a B and zero points for making a C, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to work hard to get that A or that B, right? So you want to make sure you know what you're up against. So look at that application. Speak with your advisor. We have some excellent advisors here. So you know, talk to them. Go over whether you came from another college or you're brand new. This is your first time. That first, you know, you could be a first generation um, college student in your your family, and we we happily accept you here. We will help you and guide you along the way. But the biggest thing is communicate. Communicate with your advisor, communicate with your instructors, and hey, my name and number's on the website. Call and communicate with me. But here at Aiken Technical College, we want to help you achieve your dreams, and we want to guide you. But the only thing we can't do is if you don't talk to us. So my biggest piece is to wrap those things up. You want to make sure you know what your, your gen eds, your prerequisites are. Do well the first time if you can. Do very well. Secondly, talk to your advisor communicate with them so you know exactly what it is that you have to do. And thirdly, look at that nursing application. Go over that. There's a lot of information on that website, but please go over it. Look at it. That way you will know what you need to do and to whom you would need to speak to. I know that each pinning ceremony you always do the Florence Nightingale Pledge and what you share are the things that you're going to need to do to get the degree or get into the program, but there are certain skills that a nurse needs that will they need to have what are some of those soft skills as we like to say that a nurse should have if they're going to go into this field yes for one you all and i know this is a cliche but this is so real compassion mm -hmm. if you do not have compassion for your fellow man how can you help them when they're at their lowest point in life 
when you're sick and you're not feeling well and you're in this hospital and everybody's coming in and out all times of day and night or you're at a doctor's office, you're scared because you don't know what's going on with your body, compassion. It goes a long way. And then I'm going to go back to the ability to communicate. And when I say communicate, I know we're in a digital world and we like to type and all those things, but we really have to learn how to communicate with people. And through that communication, we're displaying empathy and sympathy and understanding. And also with that communication, we're able to educate and help them understand what's going on. So we have to be able to explain things as we communicate and explain those things in a gentle manner, but yet in a manner that will meet that person where they are and help them on whatever educational level that they're on. Like we have to, sometimes you have to speak to a four-year-old child and help them understand why they feel the way they feel versus it could be a 99-year-old adult. So we have to be able to do those things. And then also, we just have to be willing to be flexible Everything may not always go as planned, but we just have to adapt, readjust, and keep it moving. <laughs> right? Well, I mean, that's part of the deal. I mean, if you've ever had someone who's been in the hospital, yeah, you want those good doctors, but those doctors do rounds and they're off doing other things. It's the nurses who are the literal boots on the ground, not just simply working with the patient, but working with family members. And you're going to walk with people of all walks of life, work with that's people true. of all walks of life. So it's important to know all of those things before you go into it because good nurses really make you know, make the difference in healthcare for many people, especially in those more dire situations. That's true. And you know, if I, if I could add yeah, with that and being a nurse, a lot of students, and we try to help them understand, paying attention to detail. It is oftentimes the things that you're not saying that let me know that something's wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I have to not only pay attention to detail of what I'm reading, uh, what I may see on a computer screen or so forth, but it's paying attention to detail to those that are around me, to that patient that's lying in that bed. You know, sometimes that grimace, that looking away, those things tell me what they're really, what they want to say, but they're not saying. <laughs> now, to change subjects a little bit, you and I and a group of us have been working on an exciting capital project that's coming to Aiken Technical College, and we have been working on the design and plans for a new nursing education center. So what would you like to share your perceptions for your staff and your fat students about what that new building is going to bring to Aiken Tech? Yes. Oh, you all, I don't know if you, the smile that when he said that. <laughs> <laughs> we are so looking forward to this. What this new building means to us is growth. Um, the ability to expand. Right now, we take 40 students twice a year in the fall and spring for the ADN semester. We take 24 students for the um, LPN program, 24 students for the PCT, and then 16 students for the evening program, and up to eight students for the day program. But Dr. Mahan, with this new building, this will help us increase enrollment. So um, we're very, very excited about that. It gives us room. Now we have you know, additional room to grow in, albeit right now, we have a beautiful campus here at Aiken Technical College, but with the new addition of this building, this will allow us now to continue to branch out and bring more students in. I, I think right now, as far as technology, we do very well here at Aiken Tech with technology, but the new building will be even better. It will allow greater simulation labs, bigger simulation labs, uh, skills labs, for us to learn and to practice and actually put our hands on, you know, on, uh, I would say patients, but they're all mannequins. <laughs> but these are high fidelity mannequins. These mannequins can do some things that when I was in nursing school, never even thought of. <laughs> we, had to, we had to, you know, practice how to start our bees on each other. Oh, and I'll wow. tell you that I was not a fan of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, usually nurses are the worst patients. Is that true? Yes, oh, it's very much. true. <laughs> yeah. My mother was a nurse and she was not a good patient. So. Yes. Um, probably could be a little difficult. I try not to though. <laughs> try to have understanding. <laughs> well, for us, we're excited on the campus because you know, this is a partnership that we have from the Savannah Riverside Settlement Dollars, the, the state legislature, the county, yes. and the college are putting forth the funds to uh, fund this 36,000 36, square foot yes. building. And as Dr. Williams said, the first floor is going to be large classroom spaces, computer labs, and lots and plenty and plenty of uh, stu study Studies, spaces yes. for students. And the second floor will be offices for the nursing faculty and staff, and also the sim lab. So this is going to be a building completely dedicated to the nursing field, which then 
in the current health science building that we're sitting in will open up space for other programs in our health science field, our School of Health Sciences. So, and we're also very proud to say that as the design is finalized, and we'll hopefully be able to reveal shortly to publicly what it's going to look like with the renderings, is that it's going to be in a very prominent part of the campus where it should hopefully be the focal point if you're driving past the college. Yes, sir. So we're excited about that. The look of it is going to be modern looking, and it will at the same time blend into the college campus. Right, yes, sir. So now, a lot of great things going on. Is there anything you'd like to share that maybe we hadn't touched upon? Oh, wow. I I think of it. Think of it. <laughs> I think it's right. But I will say this is that anyone looking at this video, uh, we are coming up on the fall semester. So is yes. there any advice about, you know, you shared the process. How soon do you think they should get that process started? How fast should they get to the website and how fast should they start doing that? Now. Um, now. Now. Okay. <laughs> Very good. So go to agc.edu. Uh, here we are. The summer term is in the, we're in the midst of the summer term. Fall semester starts very shortly. August 19th, I believe, is the okay. official start date. So it's not too late to get ready for fall semester here at Aiken Technical College Nursing Program or any other health science program, or for that matter, any program you may be interested in. But nursing is really, and I share this information all the time, it is the top job opening in Aiken County. There are any given month, there are anywhere between 180 and 200 jobs open for registered nurses. So if you think that you might want to be a nurse, if you're coming out of high school, or if you're an adult who's looking for that career change, this is a great opportunity to explore the options here. Now, the new nursing building we hope to break ground on in the spring of, well, spring semester of 25, and then hopefully that'll be done by mid-26. So within two years, we can hopefully be moving into the new nursing building. Yes, sir. So anyway, well, Dr. Williams, thank you for your time. Thank you for your thank enthusiasm you. and your leadership of the School of Nursing. And so that being said, we thank you for joining us for this edition of the Mayhem Conversations. We hope to begin soon, especially for the groundbreaking and if not, the grand opening. I'll be here. All right, great. Thank you <laughs> thank so much. Y'all have, have a good day. Thank you. Goodbye.